Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jeff. This is Colorado DIY Garage. Today we're going to put some air springs on my Silverado. This is the Airlift Load Lifter 5000 kit. I got it on Amazon. It was like the cheapest one I could get for my truck. Uh, it came with two bags, the upper lower brackets. <clears throat> this is all the air hose and an exhaust, exhaust shield, the hardware bag, the cups, and then I also got these uh, Daystar cups, and this will allow the suspension to still have free travel. The bags won't be permanently connected to the axle, so I can flex my truck a little bit. I don't take that truck rock crawling by any means, but it does go off-road, so that was a concern of mine still being able to keep the function of that going so let's get into this and uh, I'll show you how it goes so before we get started I just want to kind of go over my truck real quick it's a 2005 Silverado 2500 HD it's got the 6 liter gas motor LQ4 4L80 automatic transmission um, but I got 35 inch tires on it, leveling kit in the front, inch and a half blocks in the back. And the reason I want to do these airbags is because of this rack I got on here that I I built with my father-in-law and I and the topper and then in the back I got a whole drawer system set up. And right now I got it kind of loaded full of tools I've been working out of it and then I tow trailers with it quite often so it definitely needs them this truck's either always full of tools or hunting gear or fishing gear or I'm always kind of on the go with it I took it over the scales not too long ago to get a trailer weighed that I was working on and this truck weighed in at 8,100 pounds. Now that was with me in it and some tools in it. But like I said, it's always got some kind of gear or something in it. So 8,100 pounds, that's pretty heavy. That's almost, I think about 1,800 pounds over what this truck should have been coming off the line. So it's got quite a bit of weight on it. Um, soon I'm going to do a full walk around video of the truck. I'm going to get it all cleaned out, get the drawers cleaned out. And then we'll talk about all the things I've done to this truck because there's quite a bit done to it. But this video is just going to be about the airbags, so uh, we'll get started on that. All right, so the first bag's in. The upper bracket mounts up here where the uh, factory bump stop was. And then I just the bag is just hanging here, and then it'll land in this cup that's attached to the bracket, which is attached to the axle. So it's pretty easy. But to getting this cup to this bracket was kind of a pain. Not terrible, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you take <clears throat> show you how I did it step by step on the other side, and you'll see how it was all done. Okay, so this is the bracket that comes with the kit, and that it's going to sit like this with the axle going underneath. So they have them countersunk here. For these screws to go through and then sit flush but these screws aren't long enough when you set this guy on here to come through the bottom of here and come up through it's too shallow and these holes here don't really line up with any of the holes here they kind of do but nothing like just actually lines up. So I wanted to just use that hole that's in the middle there. In order to do that, I need to drill another hole here, which I've been doing on my vice or the drill press. So drill a hole here with this 3 8 bit 
And then I countersunk it a little bit with this 5 8 countersink, but this isn't quite big enough. So then I finished it with this step bit. And then I used that step bit to drill the cup a little bit because the nut will then stick up proud of that cup. This nut sits proud of that. So I just countersunk that a little bit to let that sit down in there. I'll show you everything. I don't have the right clamps to use with this drill press either. So I just screwed this piece into that two by four so that uh, it doesn't move around on me. These are uh, 15 millimeter and you'll need a deep socket.
right, so now that's both of the airbags installed, driver's side and passenger side. Now I just got to run the air hose, and I got to figure out where I'm going to run that line. I think I'm going to kind of go up and then over all that, and then kind of run that way because I think... I think I'm going to put both those chucks right here underneath that guy. All right, so here's where I decided to uh, mount these things. I was going to come out the bumper, and I just decided I really didn't want to drill a hole in the bumper. Basically, I would have been drilling right through behind here. I don't know. I might do it eventually, but for right now, I'm going to do that because... Eventually, I want to get onboard air, and then I might just hook them in with that, but we'll see. Okay, so the front stayed the same, which I figured it would, but here's the back from 41 and a half to 42 and three quarters. So that's an inch and a quarter. That's also an inch and a quarter. They're a quarter inch different. I could probably dial that in with the pressure, but um, I'm running the same pressure in each bag, and it was the same change. So. I think it's about 45 pounds so I'm, I'm happy with it I'm really excited I'm gonna go take it for a quick test drive and see how it is um, the other thing that I was gonna talk about is I recently changed out the headlights and I don't like the LEDs or the HIDs because I don't have the right projector lens speaking of lens I don't have the right projector lens so um, I just like to go with those Sylvania Silver Star Ultras, but they're pretty pricey. They're like 60 bucks, 65 bucks a, a pair, where, at least where I'm at. And so I found out, I did some research online, they have like a sister company that's mostly marketed to Europe, but it's called Osram, and they're these Osram Nightbreaker Laser, which that's just kind of a cool name anyway. But you can get them on Amazon. They're like 25 bucks to 32 bucks, depending on which which model you get. Now see, it says HB3. That's because it's like a European deal. But if you look here on the back, it's good for the 9,005. And then in this mess, I got to get my shop cleaned up again. Um, this one was for the 9,006. So I'm going to go try them out. We're going to go for a drive, try out the springs. We'll try out the headlights and it's not super dark yet, but man, that's pretty. Beautiful out here. I love it. Anyway, we're going to go for a drive real quick. Put these dogs somewhere and go for a little drive. Hey guys, so it's actually the next day and I'm headed to go pick up a little yard tractor. I got my little, got my little trailer back there. But anyway, I cannot believe the difference those airbags made just in ride quality alone on my pickup. Holy cow, this thing drives so much smoother now. I, I didn't realize how, how bad this truck was before, but it's obvious now. It was terrible. Um, so I really recommend them. Like I said, I just got the, the cheapest airlift 5,000, I think. With, I didn't even get the bumper in it. I got, they were like 250 bucks ish on Amazon. I can't remember exactly. And then I got those Daystar cradles and 